a good morning on this Thursday, and it is July the 4th. Happy Independence Day. I'm Chris Allen here on the SAM channel, Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and X, all sponsored by Ace Hardware Marketplace. Well, here it is, the 4th of July, and on a uh, kind of an odd day, Thursday. <laughs> Some of you may have had your 4th of July weekend this past weekend, and others will do it this weekend. And then there's a few of you that are doing both. You're double dipping. I don't like you. <laughs> hey, if you no, I if you get to do that, wonderful. If you uh, are like me, you have to choose, you know, one or the other. But anyway, um, I think your 4th of July is going to be okay. In fact, as we uh, look from the Plano cam here at my house, everything looks good at the moment. We had some rain and thunder storms overnight. And then, uh, as people were setting off their fireworks, uh, mother nature was setting off hers last night. Some of you picked up some heavy rain. We'll check some of the mesonet numbers here in just a moment, but, uh, all in all, it's a pretty good start to your 4th of July. Uh, but as we get on into the day, there will be that chance of showers and thunderstorms popping up again. And some of those could produce some heavy rainfall. As a matter of fact, uh, we do have this chance of seeing maybe a few stronger storms. Here is the severe weather outlook for today, and it covers the entire state of Kentucky in that level one marginal risk. Uh, it's not going to be uh, a big risk. It is somewhat conditional. If we uh, you know, get the right setup here, then we could see some stronger storms this afternoon, but it would be primarily from, uh, maybe a damaging wind threat or heavy rain threat. Tornado threat is very, very small. So this is not one of those kind of setups where you, you know, we're looking at uh, a bigger tornado risk. This is not that. In fact, um, this will be kind of a low scale event, but when the heavy rains and the thunderstorms are over you, especially if you're out on the lake or you're, you're at a cookout, uh, you'll need to especially know what the weather's doing. And so you need to pay attention to that as you go through the day. So, uh, please exercise caution and, uh, you know, have the, uh, news 40 weather app with you. That way you'll know when trouble is coming and, uh, you know, any kind of warnings or even lightning detection, it's all on the app, which you can download right here. Uh, just open up your camera uh, app and just hold your phone right over that circle, that QR code, and it'll take you right to where you need to download the app. All right. A view around Southern Kentucky. We go downtown and our AAA systems weather camera. That's coming off of Reservoir Hill, looking down on the city. We've got a good start there this morning, and I anticipate at least this morning's weather to be uh, pretty nice and pretty good. Let's check another picture. This one is our newest weather cam, which is located at I-65 and Scottsville Road from the Wingate Hotel. And, uh, there's a beautiful sky with some high, thin, wispy clouds as of, uh, the current time, which is 646, no, make it 647 this morning, uh, and a rare sight at around this time, an almost empty Scottsville road. <laughs> Look at that. Normally it's lined up with cars and trucks and, you know, all kinds of thick traffic, but, uh. Hey, it's a holiday, so everything is looking uh, pretty thin this morning, including the clouds, which are up there. High, thin, cirrus clouds, fair weather clouds for now. But later on, we will be looking at uh, a better possibility of showers and thunderstorms moving in. Right now, everything is north of us thanks to warm front that came through overnight and kind of pushed everything off to the north. So let's see where the rain is right now and where it's going to go later. Here's a look at, uh, 
radar. And as you can see, we've got uh, pretty good clusters of rain off to the north St. Louis up to looks like uh, Mount Vernon getting some thunderstorms right there and then over to Vincennes, Indiana. And then uh, stretching almost in an arc here back toward Louisville. Now there's nothing down here. miserable already um heat index let's see here yeah i could show you okay so right now the heat index is pretty close to the actual temperature but that's going to change as we get into the day uh because the moisture content as you can see by the dew points very high some of you picked up some rain Last night, look at this. The sensor out at Bon Air, which is 11 miles west of Glasgow in Barron County, almost on the Barron Warren County line, picked up 1.31 inches of rain. I watched that cell uh, just kind of peter out over Bowling Green, but then it washed itself out, then helped redevelop the next cell in line. And it just dumped. And look at that over in uh, Metcalf County in Edmonton. You picked up 1.12 inches of rain. Only scant amounts here. But the southern sensor down at the Ag Expo Center here in Bowling Green did pick up almost a half inch of rain. 3,700s up there in Morgantown. Another one inch bullseye up there in Ohio County in Hartford, just over an inch of rain, almost that much in Greenville and Muhlenberg County. All this
pretty much from last night with those impulse showers and thunderstorms that popped up. We haven't had much of anything going on this morning. The winds continuing out of the south, so they're muggy. And right now, fairly light, 3 to 5 miles per hour. And any kind of gust or more back into western Kentucky at about 10 to 15. But, uh, yeah, it is going to be... uh, it is going to be an unforgiving day, and in, in that I mean, yeah, it doesn't matter. You know, nature doesn't care. It's the 4th of July. Uh, it's going to come a good rain for some of you at some point, so just be aware. Please be weather aware, because right now it all looks fine. It's not going to stay that way. All right. Here we go with the model blender. We take a look at the next 10 days. We put most of the major steering, what I call the steering models, into a big old blender, and we spin it around a few times, and this is the output of that. Now, this model, or the blend of models, I should say, is calling for 94 for a high today. I went with 92. You know, it's going to be close. Heat and humidity will make it feel like it's 100 again today. So keep that in mind. He did heat caution, you know, precautions should be taken because of that. Then once we get the better chance of rain coming in tonight, during the day tomorrow, we cool things down a little more in line with where we should be this time of the year, which is around 89, 87 to 89 degrees. And it's going to feel a bit less humid once we get through the the rain tomorrow. And especially Saturday into Sunday is going to feel pretty nice. Lower dew points. Uh, The air is going to be a bit more breathable as we get into the weekend. But then we see more rounds of showers coming in next week. Temperatures will kind of be hovering around the average 89 or so. And then back into the 90s next week. Not a whole lot of wholesale change in any of this as we continue to get the heat and uh, some of the rain showers. There is some long range uh, indications that we may be looking at somewhat cooler air coming in toward the middle of the month. We'll see if that actually pans out. Right now, we're just going to keep it warm. Let's take a look at the maps now so you can see how all this is going to progress through the area today and the next few days. So here's our little boundary and a little weak area of low pressure. The main area is back here in uh, parts of Kansas and Missouri. Stalled frontal boundary. But this, this little boundary is just kind of a leftover of the cold front as it approached last night. But it's still enough of a boundary to help touch off more showers and thunderstorms today into the afternoon. Now there's this hole that they've got over Bowling Green, but I don't think that's really going, that's the hole that we're in right now. But later, uh, we get a better chance of showers and thunderstorms. You see the darker green as we get into the afternoon. Now, not everybody's going to get rained on, but about half of you that are in Southern Kentucky, We'll get some shower and thunderstorm activity based on this whole thing. into Monday with more of the same rinse and repeat splash and dash type 
showers and thunderstorms. Here's Tuesday and here's Wednesday. As the front stalls to our south, we will still be in the very warm sector and, and moisture laden air and all of that, all of that stuff you hear about in the summertime and is pretty typical around here. So I'm going to keep right ninety four. The average is eighty nine, so we were five degrees above average. Today will be pretty close to that once again. But please, even though it looks so nice right now at coming up on 7 a.m. on this July 4th, note that later we're going to see new developing showers and thunderstorms, and some of those will produce some very heavy downpours, torrential downpours. Uh, And if you're caught out on the lake or caught out cookout or doing something outdoors, uh, just don't, just be aware that it's going to happen. It could happen. And it's going to be, uh, one of those situations where, you know, you would have, there's going to be some people that aren't watching this. They're going to be like, why didn't I pay attention to the weather? Chris Allen said it was going to do that. So anyway, you know, sometimes I know it's just, it's like you listen, but then you don't listen. And then it's like, oh gosh, you know, what's going to happen then? So here's the news 40 weather app with the radar. It's got all kinds of stuff, lightning detection. Whoops. It'll tell you exactly the current conditions. Uh, if there's lightning detected within 15 miles of where you live, it will ping your phone and let you know. And of course, a weather bulletin and to download it, you just go (laughs) right here. Just scan that QR code. It's free. And then you can set it up with your location. It can follow your phone's location, wherever your phone goes, or you can put in 16 different locations in which to follow the weather. 16. I don't think you'll have enough locations to fill it up, but if you do, you do. That's that's great. In the meantime, enjoy your fourth. Have a great day. God bless America. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.